What's up, Wayne Barron here with DarkEffects.net, and we are inside of Sony Vegas Pro 13. What I'm getting ready to show you, I'm not really sure exactly when it was introduced into Sony Vegas Pro. However, this is what we're going to be doing. As you can see right here, oh, let's go back. As you can see right here, we've got a mask that is going over our light. So let's go ahead and drag our project into our timeline. And the first thing that we want to do, let's go ahead and open this up, is that we want to go to the area that we want to start editing at. And that's about right up in here, using your left and right arrow keys to move the video. Hit the S to split it. Uh, let's use our right area key to move fast forward in time. Uh, let's get right there. That's good. Hit the S. Now we can come back over here to the beginning. Move it forward just a little bit. Get it about right up in there. Now let's choose our event pan crop tool. Come down to the bottom and choose mask. And select. You can either choose the anchor creation tool. The rectangle or square mask or you can use the ellipse or circle tool Harold we're going to use the rectangle and square tool let's come right over here drag down and then over and that's right there's going to create our square for us as you can see it masked out our entire video that is not what we want and so we want to come over here and choose the negative mask click on it and that gives us what we need so now let's go ahead and move this out to right here and we want to come over here to our opacity. We want to change it down to about 80. Our feather type, we want to choose both. And then for feather, we want to do 3.2. And that's going to give us that feather right there. So now let's drag it back over here. Let's come out, move over to the side. It's about right up in there, looks good. Now grab a hold of our mask and move it out. So what we're going to do now is that we're going to create this mask going all the way across our timeline to the very end. And now let's come over here to the very end and just move our mask out to the side. Okay, so let's go ahead and close out. When we run it, our mask follows our light throughout the entire scene. So that's what we want. Okay. Very simple, very easy trick, and you can add this in. Let's say that you film a vehicle that's riding by. You want to mask out the license plate or mask out the people's faces. You can use this technique. Also, if you are filming a crowd of people and certain people in that crowd do not wish to be on the video, you can easily go in and mask out each person out of your video by using this method. It's really simple to do. You do not need no expensive program. It's all right here inside of Sony Vegas. If you're getting something really difficult that takes a lot of tracking, then I strongly suggest going in and using either Adobe After Effects CC 2015 or by using Mocha. Y'all have a good one now. Bye-bye.